Hello everyone, I'm Yun Ha. Over the past few weeks, Test Sprite has been trending online, and I truly appreciate all the support from our users. We've hit number one on Product Hunt and reached 2 million AR, helping tens of thousands of my cores and dev teams validate, test, and fix their software. OpenAI released the GPT-5, and we're proud to be one of the most earliest companies adopt the latest model. GPT-5 has made TestWire and our MCP even more powerful, and I wanted to show you its capabilities through a very fun challenge. As many of you know, bio coding is all the rage right now, with lots of people using Cursor, Lovable, and all these kind of tools. So today, I'm going to try something wild, build a Cursor using Cursor, and let the TestWire test it, improve it, and help complete what might seem like impossible task. Let's get started. The first thing I need to do is to create a PRD documentation for our project. So right now I'm using GPT-5 and I have prompted to write a PRD to create a web app like Cursor. Now let's try to generate it. Oh, it's super fast. This is amazing. Okay, so right now I already copied this content from GPT-5, pasted in the PRD doc into Cursor project. I also created prompt here. So I mentioned I need to let Cursor, based on this product requirement doc, generate a React project and I try to make sure it's complete production ready, which fully meets all the requirements in the documentation. Let's hit enter. Perfect. So right now we can see we've implemented a web cursor. Let's try to log in. Maybe create a simple snake game and see how it goes. Oh, okay. Seems like a little bit of error is happening. GPT-5 is indeed amazing. It satisfies a lot of requirements, but still, you only know whether this software aligns to your requirement when you manually test it. This is why we created TestBry. Right now, you don't have to manually do all these validation anymore. TestBry will help you to test all of these edge cases. What's more amazing is we will even send the structured result back to Cursor so that it will help to polish all the results. I will tell Cursor, hey, can you test? this project was tested as right. I will also use GPT-5. Okay, after giving this prompt, it already called our MCP tool, a testing configuration page is open. We can just enter test account info, your local host port, and the PRD doc we just generated. And after that, we'll try to generate a code summary to understand your code base. After that, test sprite will generate a standard product requirement doc. If their PRD is a little bit of rough, it's fine. We will polish it, make it more structured based on the code base information and the original PRD information. Our MCP has already created a test plan here, which contains 28 test cases in total. And our AI right now is trying to generate all these test code and execute them in our server side. Okay, after some time, we can see that the test execution already finished. So right now, only four tests passed and 24 failed. We can see in our project, all these 28 test cases are already created. So you can local run all these code for sure. And you can also use them in the future. Right now, test sprite is actually trying to generate a test report based on all the feedback and actually try to open it. Yeah, so it will list out all the test cases and it will also have a summarization of all those test execution results. One great thing about test sprite is that for each of the tests will help our user to record all the actions. For example, for this case, it's trying to test whether apply diff created undo history. Yeah, it seems like the apply and undo both is kind of like just a mockup button. It's not really applying anything to this actual software. This is the value of TestBry. Manually validating and all these features really cost you a lot of time. You probably don't want to write all these down and feed it back to cursor we will help you to summarize and organize all these information and feed a bit back to Cursor. So right now we can add Cursor to polish the whole code base. It will definitely go better on the quality. After waiting for some minutes, we can see that Persuade has fixed all of those issues. Based on test by report, we can now prompt a help me write a license deck game. Okay, it will create a task and it will try to generate some code. We can accept. We can revert, we didn't get it back. Yeah, we can also see previous a task. Yeah, so that's basically about it. Pretty interesting, right? As you can see, this is the magic and power of TestBy and it's MCP. If you're a live coder, you definitely don't want to miss it. Thank you.